Hello, welcome to Just Bird to Row. Today, who you, I just did Kanye West. It is still December 23rd, 2022. And I thought, well, let's take a little peek at Kim, little Kimmy, and see what's going on for her. So I've, of course, I've already pulled these. I'll plop the video on top. As always, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all that good stuff. So, first off, it's her first house dealing with her self-image, her ego. And what I have pulled is self-employment. Hmm. So she views herself as self-made. That's how I'm going to take that, as like self-made. Um, uh, that's how I'm taking it, self-made, self-employment. Her own boss. So, let's see. She views herself in high regard to nostalgia. All right, a dream of lost time. So she is all about herself and feels like she lost out on something, a dream of hers. And it looks like, you know, nostalgia. It's what once was, what'll never be, something warm and cozy. It's just how, and she feels, she's self-employed. Maybe like she, she lost a dream because she put herself and her employment, her career first. She may be feeling that. <clears throat> okay. All right, and then moving on to Kim's second house, dealing with her current economic affairs. And we have leaving. So is what is the final word? Is she staying with the big B, Balenciaga, or is she leaving? It looks like she's leaving. Um, possibly. I, I thought she was staying. We'll find out. This is for 2023 something. Let's just clarify Kim's current situation, her current economic situation. Maybe making some changes, but it doesn't say making changes. It says leaving. So I would say she's leaving something, some, something that she's had her hands in. You know, she has her hands in everybody else's. She has her hands in many pots or pockets, however, you know, or whoever you are, guidance, follow the leader. So somebody's going to lead Kim. She's going to follow the direction of someone. That, you know, someone's going to say, hey, it could be Balenciaga, you know. Um, where they're like, this is not good rep, you know, this is going to hurt your brand, you know, your big booty's gone, now little tootie booty, it's not good. All right, let's see, um, moving on to her third house is, <laughs> is listen, communication. And what we have is body changes. So she may be in talks. She could be talking of plastic surgeon, of course. But she may also be talking about some of her surgeries or something. Um, the body changes that she's going through 2023, talking about it. Or maybe she's um, conferring with someone. Like I said, you never know. But let's see. Let's clarify this for Miss Kim Kardashian West. Attainment. Reaching the top. Okay, so she wants to talk. She's probably talking to a plastic surgeon or something. Someone about her or if she's going to do a podcast or an interview or something because this is a sign of Gemini okay house of the third house dealing with communication and it's ruled by the planet Mercury so what is she talking about attaining reaching the top so she wants to change she keeps changing and morphing into all different shapes and sizes to reach the top 
and other things. Let's see. Let me keep my personal opinions out of it because this this isn't personal. These are just cards. All right. Moving on into her fourth house. Re this represents her house and her home. And we have self-care. This is the sign of cancer. And she may be intuitively um, feeling like she needs to take care of her house or take care of something, and, you know, within her household is a form of self-care for her. Whether that's, we'll see. We'll see. What is she doing at home? taking care of the home or is she like we have all of these cards that say self like self 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 focus on self or is this self-centered stop with your personal opinions <laughs> self is important so let's see i think the focus is on herself because in ego the way that she views herself is that she's missing she feels like she missed out on on i feel like a relationship on that dream a lost dream because she was focused on herself. Now she needs to take care of herself. So this self-care could be representative since this is falling upon the house and I view the house and home as a representative of a person as well. So she could just be taking care of herself. Let's see, maybe she's spending a lot of time at home dialogue sensible discussion so she's going to be talking about like taking care of herself you know maybe she's gonna do i don't know maybe this is like instagram or podcast <laughs> like wendy williams she just kills me whenever she says podcast like you were on radio forever podcast sounds so unfamiliar <laughs> All right, we're going to move into to Kim's um, SEX house, and <laughs> let's see, this is her fifth house, and we have new exercise programs, so she might be getting it in with somebody new, um, you know, <laughs> this is the sign of Leo, okay, it's ruled by the sun, let's see, let's clarify this for Kim, <laughs> leadership assuming command, <laughs> oh, so, assume it so she's in charge here uh, maybe she's gonna put on her gimp mask she'll have to take it back from her daughter let's see let me hush up now um we're gonna move into kim's seventh house and right now she has courage and this is dealing with relationships and marriage now seems like kim getting in touch with some things do you think that she and kanye may work things out let's let's see uncertain uncertain future she don't know she don't know what's going on she's just trying to find the strength she's she's free falling here people are watching her too as she falls she don't know what's going to happen in the future because she's feeling the, the lost dream. She thinks everything is going to come in, in this, like in her body, you know, making it to the top. That's what she put everything, her body, which is part of her brand. And then just all of it, you know, all of it has been really self-centered, self-absorbed, me, 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 I, I, I. And now she's reminiscing about someone, could be Kanye, shit, could be Ray J, Reggie, who's, who's the 72 dare? I don't know. That dude, she probably doesn't even remember that guy. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's move on. Stop. Uh, into Kim's um, subconscious. So she doesn't know that she's thinking about making decisions. There's probably some decisions that Kim really actually does need to make, but she doesn't know that she's going to be required, that she probably actually wants to make decisions, that there's something coming up where there's going to be decisions. Now let's see. Kanye got indecision upon decision in the same in the same in the same house okay i be i believe kanye was subconscious as well so kim too 
are they going to try to get back together? And is he the one that's going to guide her, follow the leader, leaving Balenciaga? Maybe she's going to pretend that she loves Jesus. You know, I'm not saying Kanye doesn't. I'm just saying. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. I hope that Kim does too. Or whoever they're following. Whoever she's following here. I'm not sure. I lost my screen. My goodness. Hey, bear with me, folks. Let me let me get here. So she's uncertain about her future. She needs to find courage and strength. She's going to put her best foot forward. Let's keep moving on with the subconscious of flirtation. New and fresh. So <laughs> someone new and fresh is coming in and she's going to have to make a decision because why she wants something new and fresh and she's going to have to make a decision. Does she want the new and the fresh or does she want the old? Subconsciously, so she needs to make a decision about it. Mm -hmm. Kim's heart is on love. That's what it seems like. Because like she's reminiscing about something, someone, some dream, some romantical crap. You know, that fantasy. Ugh, stop, Kim. Jeez. <laughs> like she's but she's there she may be kicking herself in the butt because maybe she feels like she should know let Kanye go I don't know assuming command some others I knew sheriff in town the, um, the, the sheriff badge is up there I'm just thinking role playing for the SEX thing there let's just see all right, Kim's in control there too. See, she needs to learn to relax. Too uptight. Let's see. Um, moving into her ninth house, this is what she'll manifest. This is Kim's actual reality, and we have relationship dynamics. <laughs> of course, that's all she's focused on, right? That's her reality. She's focused on it. She wants it. What are you doing for it here, girly? Let's just um clarify Kim's reality relationship dynamics they're difficult relationships with everything let's see well let's see recovery the worst is over <laughs> this is her, her reality you know the worst is over she's recovering from relationship dynamics but she is nostalgic she is missing the crap out of someone but she needs to make a decision either you want something new or you still want to be you know egging Kanye on and trying to twist Pete's arm or whatever I don't I don't really know what she's doing I'm just you know the gossip blogs that's about it we'll move on to the 10th house all right and <laughs> let's just see what do we have? We have welcomed the new. This represents, the 10th house represents Kim's social standing. So she's going to be making new friends. New friends. Fresh and new. It's all about the new. Welcome the new. Um, and ha this is actually like kind of like how people view her. They want, they view Kim like she's welcoming the new and leaving go of the past. But Kim's not. <laughs> Kim's nostalgic about someone that she chose she chose everyone over her the, like her career over everyone in her life so whatever that dream was I would imagine it was the happy wife and husband and children and you know the whole shebang because she's one of those girls that you know she probably fantasized about that crap since she was four you know it's been drilled in her head I don't know why. Whatever. You know what we didn't do? Did we do? We did not do. Kim's future finances. Let me get to Kim's future finances here. Gracefully aging. Which lets me know that, alright, so her future economic affairs are going to be a more natural look. Since Kim's all about body changing, she may, I'm telling you, she may start like 
a podcast, I keep saying it like a podcast, or start talking about these changes that she's made. Um, maybe there's been ramifications or whatever, but she's going to go for a more natural look or she's going to deny having any work done at all. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. But th as far as uh, her future economics, it's going to, of course, it's going to be in um, probably skincare or something along those lines. But gracefully aging. So I'm going to say like skincare since she's all, isn't she, does she have her own skincare? I know the other one's wet makeup, but I don't know. We'll see. Gracefully aging. Clarify. Kim K. What's going on here? Harmony. Okay. Melodious compatibility. She may go into business with somebody. They may be a musician. Uh, <laughs> another one. I was going to say it could be Kanye. The saying as far as finances in the future it could be there's there's compatibility even even if it's not Kanye or anything like that there's compatibility here as far as um, what what her future holds as far as uh, follow the leader somebody somebody is going to guide her maybe it's going to be like Courtney or Chloe I don't know but she's leaving what she's doing currently um, as far as economically speaking, things are going to change. She's following the leader. So she's leaving something, I would say, uh, you know, and moving somewhere else. And somebody's going to guide her into, I don't know, maybe a skincare line or something along those lines. But it has to do with gracefully aging. But then we're talking here about body changes and reaching the top. Um, we'll, we'll see. And harmony and melodious compatibility so this will be a good partnership for her and anyway you know maybe it's going to be some zen products <laughs> like you know her sister maybe maybe that's who she's going to um follow i doubt it she's probably going to follow a dude but you know it, it could be her, her mother or sister or somebody that she knows Let's just keep moving on because I'm just going to blah, 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 blah. Welcome to the new. Now we are into the social standing. So I see that's, you know, how people view her as like new, fresh, you know, I mean, she does have a whole new bottom, a whole new appearance, but and maybe just kind of like finding her way um, on her own. They're just viewing her as new. And maybe she's welcoming new new kinds of like this is just how others see her as welcoming new things into her life. So let's see. Anticipation in the pipeline. So th they're they're hoping for something new for for Kim. You know, this is like her social standing. So people who are rooters, her supporters, her fans, her followers, maybe even her haters, who knows? You know, but they hope to see her do well. You know, hope, hope to see that something new is coming down the line soon in 2023. All right, and we're going to move on to her friends. Now, I don't really understand this. We have adult children. So her friends could be adult children, you know. If they're adults, they're somebody's child, but they could have adult children, which would lead me to believe that um, her friends are much older than her. They're, like her friends would be more or less like her mother's age versus her own age if they have adult children. And if not, her friends may just be her siblings, you know, as they are the adult children within the family. Um, who, who knows? Let's see. Like I said, it's a, it doesn't make sense to me, but it doesn't mean it wouldn't make sense to her. This would only make sense to her, <laughs> any of it. So let's see. Adult children, clarify this.
what do we have? The mind's eye. Distant shores. Okay, so maybe Kim doesn't have any friends, and it's like she'll have friends when her children become adults. Distant shores, or these are older friends that are just a, a you know, a far, far away. They could be older as well. Huh. Does she have to pay her friends? I don't know. Like, there's money attached at the distant shores. Kim, what are you doing over there in Dubai? Hmm? Uh-huh. What's going on? Just playing. Let's see. Um, <laughs> that's her friends. So her friends are at a dis are distant and I would say these are the friends that she's had since she's been an adult. You know. Jeez, can I keep my screen up or not? Nah? Apparently not. Nah. All right, we have one placement left. I'm so sorry, folks. Let's see here. We have retirement, and this is her enemies. Do her enemies want her to retire? <laughs> like from the business as a whole or as a person? Who knows? It's her enemies, so let's see. She will keep them until the day that she, you know, takes a, her last breath surrender look at oh oh my goodness uh, sacrifice and cleansing look at look at this they want to hang her out to dry that's the bottom line and these her enemies are no joke is that the hangman up there attached to this card stuck like chuck And this is, that's her 12th house. Astrological sign of Pisces ruled by the planet and Neptune. And that's what I have for Kim K. If you've made it this far, folks, please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel.